Why did Hunter take so many pictures of himself and keep them on that laptop? Um, I guess in a weird way, that's his business. But those crazy emails documenting his very shady business practices and the possible involvement of his father, that's big news. And it made big news, but it should have been bigger. Remember, the New York Post broke the story of the Hunter Biden laptop in October of 2020. And what happened next? Well, it was kicked off of social media. We now know with a major assist from the FBI seem to be colluding with the Biden campaign to minimize and reduce and even eradicate this story. Think about this. The press secretary to the president of the United States, Kaylee McEnany, had her account suspended because she tweeted that story in America's oldest newspaper, the, the New York Post. Well, we are very grateful that Elon Musk now owns Twitter and he's turning over all the files, making it quite clear that Twitter knew what it was doing was wrong, that they were working with Team Biden and the FBI to reduce this story and protect Joe Biden. But the person I think we have to be most grateful for is Rudy Giuliani. He's paid an enormous price for revealing the truth to the world, and his battle continues. Mr. Mayor, welcome back to the show, and thank you very much. How are you, and what did you think of Friday night? I thought Friday night was a great, was a great victory for our return. You know, it was a long road back still to free speech and the kind of America that we want to turn over to our children. I mean, we, we're losing it. We, 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 we were losing the battle. Free speech is a, almost a thing of the past, as we, as you and I knew it. And uh, Musk, in one brilliant uh, maneuver, has kind of uh, reestablished it. Now we got to stick with it. I mean, it, it um, it's going to be. Look, I've said this before, and we can't underestimate how evil and how conniving and how manipulative they are, and how much of a hold they have on the on the establishment media. But I mean, this should this should. They should really get the rest of the story through. There's so much more on that computer and hard drive. Like, for example, when they talk about, you know, there's a question about whether Joe Biden got money. There's no question. Hunter Biden explains it right on the hard drive in his own words. I gave my father 50 percent of my income for 30 years. Why did he give his father 50 percent of his income? Because unless you're an idiot, the money was for his father. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest crook in Ukraine is not playing it. Hunter Biden you know, $10 million. He's paying it to the vice president. Nor is uh, the Chinese government paying Hunter Biden $30 million. Uh, that's why half of it went to Pop, because it was to buy Pop's office. And Pop's been selling his office since he was a teeny little senator in Delaware, and they were selling it for five and 10 grand with his brother. He went from a small town little crook yeah. to a world class con artist. And that's our president. And that's Let me it. ask you and something, I mean, Mr. Mayor. Truth. We're grateful for your efforts. We're grateful for Elon Musk. But this suddenly does feel like a cut. Not suddenly or it's been happening for a long time. But all at once now, you really can't say certain things in America. You are discouraged. You say it. I say it. But a lot of people don't. They look over their shoulder. They're afraid of getting in trouble with the boss, with uh, a colleague, with uh, who knows, your neighbor, social media. It doesn't feel like a free country anymore. And as grateful as I am for Elon Musk, <laughs> he's the richest man in the world. What if the right. richest man in the world tried to did something else on a whim? He's doing this a little bit. I don't know his motivation. I like the guy. But if he weren't here right now, we'd be in very big trouble. We used to be able to rely on the Constitution. Now we got to rely on this man, who I hope That's is a, a good guy. Good seems point, like a Rick. good guy. That's a very good point. We should, you know, you think about it. This should be a government of laws, not men. And we shouldn't have to rely on Elon Musk. You or me. We should rely on the Constitution. And uh, right now, we can't. We have to rebuild that. But at least this is a big step in that direction. And maybe it takes a guy that, you know, is invulnerable to a certain extent um, to, in order to do this. But I mean, even a lot of those people are afraid to do it. So I think we have to give him some. Even a lot of people in his position would be afraid to do it because they want to be accepted. They want to be part of the cocktail party circuit. They want to. Uh, you know, they want to be beloved or in the way in which uh, society wants to uh, uh, talk about what's politically correct. So, uh, look, this is an opening now. Uh, people's ears are open. They're finding out, more and more of them are finding out that the corruption is, is not about Hunter. It's never been about Hunter Biden. I, I knew yeah. it was about Joe Biden the day I saw the tape 
Mr. Mayor, talking to the Council on Foreign Relations or the Atlantic Partnership or whatever that was. We got to run. It's about children. We are so grateful to you. And check out, uh, it's uh, Rudy, I'm sorry, Rudy Giuliani CS, commonsense.com. Great podcast and uh, great stuff and great service. We thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. God bless you.